This is what we're trying to show our people today. Stop lying to yourself. Stop being a rebellious people. Humble to the word. Humble down to the scriptures. Hey, excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Hey, your son. Hey, how you doing, bro? You know, you all right? What's your nationality, bro? What do they call you? What would you fill out on the job application? Ain't no idea, man. Ain't no idea. Yeah, yeah, that's no idea, right? Yeah. You ask your mama, say, man, mama, why we have to go to the road and go through? She just said, baby, this is how it is. But why is it like that, though? Bring it up! It's a reason, right? It's got to be some divine intervention. Reasons for everything. Because these things have continued to happen for so long, and we have still not, I guess, ju just do. Have we ever got our 40 acres in a mule? That was a lot. A little man asked me every week. He asked you what? Do the Robert 28. Do the he said he wants to know why he never getting taught anything in school. He's, uh, he's only 10 uh, about our culture. He wants to know that every uh, week. Uh, and I tell uh, you, uh, they, don't, they don't want us to know. Let me, let me say one thing real quick. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Watch this. Watch what God says. This happened to us because of our disobedience. Watch this. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. Come on. I said I would scatter them into corners. Come on. I would make the, the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So our remembrance of us being the 12 tribes of Israel has ceased from among men right. because of our disobedience. Right. Watch this, young brother. Go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch this. Let me ask you a question, bro. Let me ask you a question, little man. What color is Jesus Christ? Hold it up, little man. Is this Jesus right here? Uh, that Jesus. Uh, I don't know. I'm asking you what. Uh, that Jesus is a white man, right? Oh, the white man. So go point to the one. Is. Oh, is. Who this here right here? Is that Jesus? Did they say that Jesus? Okay, okay, I'll pray. Watch this. Let's show you what you, we're going to do a process of elimination. We're going to play a little game. I want you to say yes or no with the between these two images. That image and this image, okay? Revelation 1 and 1. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the root word of Revelation is to reveal. We're going to reveal what Jesus Christ, what Jesus Christ looks like. Verse 14. Verse 14. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What's, your, what's the hair on your head? Is that woolly? You got woolly hair, right? Like a sheep's hair. When it gets real thick, it's going to go to an afro, right? Who got hair like that? Black folks, right? That's right. right. So-called uh, African-American, Negroes, right? So he had hair like wool. This man got hair like wool. He got like a dog hair, right? Like crawled off like a dog. That's the type of hair this man got. Stringy hair, right? So, yes or no? Yes or no between the two images? This image sound more like the Bible or this image? That one, right? right. Keep reading. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Come on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes was a flame of fire. So his eyes was a flame of fire because Jesus Christ drank wine. So did this guy have red eyes or that guy? So that's strike two on this guy, right? Strike two. He about to be out. Keep reading. And his feet. And his feet. Your feet the same color as the rest of your body, right? Maybe a little lighter, but it's still the same color. Brown, right? Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? You got a penny on you? You ever seen a penny? That's brass, it's a brown. Or, or a trumpet, or whatever, an instrument. Those are brown, right? So Jesus Christ was brown, come on. As if they burned in a furnace. What happened when you throw something in fire? It get burnt what? What color it come out? It come out black, right? Because if something get fire, the heat of the fire too, if, if I put this in fire, it'll be all burnt and black all around the edges and stuff, right? Right. So Jesus Christ was already brown as if he burned in a furnace. I mean, he was a black man like you. That's right. right. So my question is, who is this guy? Who is this guy? See that name right there? That's Cedric Borgia. He was Pope Alexander VI's son. You ever heard of the Ninja Turtles? Michelangelo, Donatello, uh, Leonardo. Those were famous Renaissance painters during the time of Pope Alexander VI. He painted his son, Cesar Borgia, as Jesus Christ. You know? But the Bible said he looked like what? So who right? The Bible or man? The Bible, right? All praise to the Most High. 
okay? Because you got to come on down to the school, man, because the most I've got wants you to do this right here. I ain't from this area. Oh, you ain't from this area? Okay, well, we got to, uh, where's the camps? All, we everywhere in the United States, all right? Give me Psalm chapter uh, 78, verse 5. Psalm yeah. chapter 78, verse 5. Uh -huh. For he established a testimony in Jacob uh -huh. and appointed a law in Israel. That's us. He appointed a law to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? Read. Which he commanded our fathers uh -huh. that, w that they should make them known uh -huh. to their children. So you got to get good in these scriptures, man, so you can teach your son the laws of the Most High God. Right. right brother? Sorry. So, yeah, get to the uh, camp. We everywhere, all right, brother? All right, little he, brother. He it's nice to meet you, man. He, he all right. A from his mom, his grandmother's uh, pastor. Uh, his grandmother a pastor. Yeah. Now you know in the Bible, you know uh, women shouldn't be teaching, right? I know that, but okay. So you gotta be, you gotta. When you see her, though, man, give me uh, se uh second, that's, that's we, second that's Timothy that's chapter with. two. Yeah, well, yeah. check the scripture out right here. Give me that about the women shouldn't be teaching. Uh, second Timothy two and um. Yeah, well, I heard, I, I heard that. Yeah, this is she all. In, yeah. This is all in the Bible, man. So this can't be doing that according to the Bible. We must keep. God's laws in these last days, man. That's right. So these women pastors and if they're not keeping the laws, it's 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 not according, it's not according to the scripture. Read what you got. First Timothy chapter two verse eleven. Uh huh. Let the woman learn in silence. It says, let the woman learn in silence. Okay. Read. With all subjection. Uh huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach. I, what was that? I suffer not a woman to teach. So she ain't supposed to be teaching, brother. You know that. Okay? So she's not supposed to be teaching, my man. So no, whenever she be up there, that don't supposed to be all teaching. praise, hey, all praise. So when you yeah. see her, bring that scripture out there and see how she take it. No, we ain't going that way. Uh, all right, all right, brother, know. all right. <laughs> all right, I feel you, I feel you. I'll go that way. I feel you. All right, brother, you take it easy, man. Remember, right, man. Uh, get, get in them laws, man, okay? Right. We ain't got that long. We don't have that long to be playing games here in the United States of America. We must repent and come back to this law. Hey, how you doing, right, brother? Right. Hey, you got a question? Right. Hey, let me ask you a question. Hey, how do you praise God? Hey, check this script out right here. How you praise God, sis? What'd you say? Praise him like you need to. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 10 and 12. Let me show you how you praise God real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, uh -huh. what does the Lord thy God require of thee? That's you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Lord requires you of something. Read. Right. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to fear the Lord thy God. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, you got five minutes for the most high? Hey, brother with the blonde hair. Read on. To walk in all his ways. Uh-huh. And to love him. Uh-huh. And to serve the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. That's how you praise God according to the Bible. That's right. right. All right? It ain't hooping and hollering on the Sunday and on the wrong damn day of the week trying to praise God. That's right. That is not how you praise God. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.